Is your stay in Apex Legends mobile not fun at all? You always get knocked down, or always in need of health. Or do you love wasting your hit points by catching the enemy's bullets? Nah, I'm kidding in that last part, but with if your answer to all of that is a big yes. I'm serious that you need to start using this legend. She goes by the alias, Combat Medic. She's the one and only, Lifeline. In this review, I'm going to describe her abilities and her huge impact if she is in your team. You better watch until the end, because I'm going to give some in-game tips on how to execute her skills properly too. So, without further ado, let's go. Let's head to her passive, Combat Revive. Use your DLC to revive teammates and deploy shield that leaves you free to defend. Find extra supplies inside blue supply bins. From all of her skills, this got to be the most awesome. Imagine, if you got knocked down, Lifeline can pick you up while not letting her guard down. This is a really big advantage because she can assist your other teammates too, while you are being revived. Aside from that, there is also a shield, along with the revived drone. The shield can withstand enemy bullets and explosives as long as it hits the shield. The other feature of her passive is that she finds extra supplies inside blue supply bins. This will increase the healing and shielding items she can find in blue bins, which is beneficial for the whole team, especially if you ran out of supplies. Now, her tactical skill, DOC Heal Drone. The Drone of Compassion DOC, automatically heals those near it. It has a cooldown duration of 60 seconds. Basically, Lifeline deploys a healing drone which heals any teammate around it, including herself. This will be very useful if you are in an intense clash with other groups and you ran out of meds. The drone will heal you while you are peeking and returning fire. Just be careful where to deploy it, because the drone only stays where you deploy it. Lastly, her ultimate care package. Call in a drop pod full of high quality defensive gear. Imagine calling yourself your own drop pod. That's totally awesome. This drop pod, like other drop pods, has a loud noise when landing. So be extra careful on when and where to deploy it. This ultimate is a really good one because it increases your chance on getting high tier items like backpacks, helmet, body shield, and knockdown shields. Golden items have extra features so it will really be a big thing. Aside from equipments, the pod can also give you some shield cells or batteries, etc. Those are lifeline skills. They are very useful inside the arena. Now, I'm going to give some in-game tips on which I experienced myself while playing as Lifeline. Tip number 1. Be aware of your surroundings. Deploy your passive skill, face towards your enemies to protect your teammates. Number 2. Her combat revive can be cancelled by Revenant Silence if it is casted while you are deploying it. The revive will be interrupted and Lifeline will have to revive her teammates manually. Number 3. When someone is on the process of being revived by Lifeline's drone and everyone got knocked down, the team will not be wiped out. Then number 4. You can use your ultimate after a teammate respawns so that they will be packed with items and be ready to fight. Overall, Lifeline is a really great legend to use. Her skills are important and has a long cooldown. Executing all the skills correctly can increase your winning chances. I hope you won't get knocked down often after watching this video. May your health be always at 100%, except for Octane. And when the fights are getting harder, and you get knocked down, just don't forget to call her name. Call your Lifeline. That's it for this review guys, if you liked this video, kindly leave a like and subscribe for more contents to come. I would like to thank you all because I reached 100 subscribers.
I hope you'll enjoy my upcoming content. So, this is our boss. See you on my next video. Thank you very much, and peace out.